I don't know what's going on with Oscar. He didn't come home last night till 2 a.m. I think I'm losing him. Have you said any of this to him? I did, but he always says the same thing, that he's working late. Hmm. I know it's stupid, but I really want to believe him. Here's that check. Thank no you. rush. I got it. Thank you. I don't have any cash, but I do have the card from an Oscar savings account. The card was declined. No, that must be a mistake. Could you run it again? I'm sorry, but I ran it three times and it didn't go through. Oh. Okay, um, give me a minute. I'll take care of this. I'm calling my bank. Yeah. Hi, guess. I'm calling about an issue that I'm having with my, um, card. So sorry to hear that. What's the name on the account? Laura Smith. Thank you. I pulled up your account and it shows a balance of three dollars and fifty cents. Oh, that can't be right. Um, could you tell me the past charges, please? Sure. It looks like there was a purchase at a designer shoe store, an airplane ticket to Las Vegas, and a plastic surgery. If any of this is incorrect, we can cancel the card and follow up with our claims department. No, no, that's okay. I just remember completing those purchases. Thank you. Okay, great. Give us a call if you need anything else. <sighs> Seriously, I'm so sorry. Do you think you could pay this time? Hey, of course. It was amazing. Hey, uh, what are you wearing? Are you wearing what I bought you? <laughs> don't, don't worry. I'm sure it looks great. Uh, hey, uh, I gotta go. Yeah, you are distracting me way too much. <laughs> okay, I'll uh, see you tonight, okay? <laughs> All right, okay, bye. What is this? What? What is this? $5,000 on designer shoes, a $10,000 plastic surgery, $2,000 for flights to Vegas, and a new cell phone, which obviously wasn't for me. What, wait, where, where did you get this? Um, those are bank statements from our savings account. Our savings account? Yes. <laughs> Let me remind you that the only one with an income here is me. Being a full-time housewife is a job. And besides, that money in our savings account was for emergencies. <laughs> so, so what? Laying down all day, scrolling on your phone? That is a full-time job? <laughs> and what, being on the phone with your friend all day? That, that is a full-time job? <laughs> How did we get here? Isn't it obvious by now? There's someone else. Why, Oscar? Have you not looked at yourself in the mirror lately? You're not the same person that I fell in love with. Okay, you, 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 first of all, you stop trying to go to the gym. Two, all you do is sit around and eat junk food all day. And, and three, you just stop trying. Well, maybe if I had the time to do those things, I would. If I didn't have to take care of our daughter, maybe I'd have more time to take care of myself. And if I didn't have to cook or clean the kitchen or do the laundry, then maybe, just maybe, I would have the time to do those things. Excuses. I'm over it. You're over it? Really, over what? The fact that I don't have my hair done or the fact that I don't wear dresses anymore? You're tired of that? I am. I detest myself from you. And I detest myself for even doing it. If you only put as much energy in our relationship as you did with her, we'd have a very different story. And you would actually have a happy wife by your side. I'm tired of all this too. Wait, tired? Tired? Tired of, 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 of being on your phone all day? Tired of scrolling through TV channels? No, tired of you, your humiliations and you treating me as if I'm inferior.
I want a divorce. I am done wasting my time with you. Take the easy way out, that's fine. I'll sign the papers for you, but I need you to do something for me first. What? Give me a month to get a job and get settled. I'll go back to the job I had before we got married and you will take a month off work so you can watch our daughter and the house while I work. And wh why would I do that? Um, do it for your daughter? With your spending habits, you'll be broke pretty soon and I need to ensure that she has a good future. So I need this time to save money for me and her. I am not doing that. What, is my job too hard? Is it too much work to watch TV all day and talk to your friends on the phone? You're doing it. Okay, fine. Fine. Thank you. Just get out of my office. I have work to do. Going to see your mistress? Have fun, but don't be out too late, because remember, our role switched tonight. Mm. The baby's crying. Go get her. The baby won't stop crying. Laura! Oscar! Oscar! What? It's already late, I have to get to work and breakfast isn't ready. What? Every single day, I make you breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I also iron all of your clothes so that you have them ready for work. I don't want to bother you with that today because you looked comfy in bed with the baby. But breakfast, I won't let that slide. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, here. I made you food. Actually, I think I'm just going to grab something on the way. See you tonight. Laura, where have you been? The baby's been crying all day and I don't know what to do. Oscar, calm down. I had a couple presentations at work, so I couldn't answer. Is that your excuse? You should know better. Have you forgotten how many times you've done the same? <sighs> have you fed her? Yes. She probably just missed me. Coffee? Thanks.
do you keep looking at me like that? <laughs> um, I'm sorry, you, you look a little different. <laughs> okay, well, I've got to get going. Well, have a good day. Hey, I'm going out with some friends, but I already put the baby to bed and I made her dinner just in case she wakes up and gets hungry. Oscar. Uh, so, uh, sorry, what? Did you hear me? Wait, wait, uh, where are you going? I'm going out with some friends, but call me if something comes up. Wait, don't you think it's a little late? What's wrong with that? I mean, <laughs> you've been out plenty of times way later than this and didn't even bother to come home to sleep. But don't worry, I won't do the same. I'll be back by one. Hey, hey, you are out of your mind. Do you not see how late it is? You have a daughter to take care of. So you're telling me that you can stay out this late, but not me? Let me tell you something, Oscar. We have the same responsibilities. And our daughter is just as much yours as she is mine. So take care of her. Wait, wait see... Oscar, what is all this? Uh, it's a surprise that I made for you. I, I hope you like it. Mm, uh, please, uh, have a seat. This all looks really nice. I'm just kind of confused. What's it for? <sighs> Look. I've been a fool, Laura. I've been a fool for, for not taking care of the beautiful woman that wakes up to me every morning. I've been a fool for looking for what I already had in someone else. And to believe that, and to believe that I thought you weren't good enough for me. And it took you all this to figure that out? I know, I'm sorry, I just, I didn't know what it was like to be the other person. Well, the month is up now, so you're free to go run off with your mistress. No, 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 see, but, but that's the thing. I, I don't want anyone else, just you. It's too late for that, Oscar. <sighs> Babe, please, forgive me. Okay, she, she means nothing to me. Don't tell me she doesn't mean anything to you. Last month you were ready to leave and leave our daughter, and I, I still remember how humiliating you made me feel that day in your office, telling me that I would never be half the woman she was. I, I, I regret my words. Okay, I, I didn't know what I was talking about. I only love you. No, you don't, Oscar. That's not real love. As soon as the next woman comes along, you're probably just gonna go run off with her and leave me behind again. No, 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 I, that, that's, that's not gonna happen again. Okay, I now realize how hard it is to take care of a house. And, and it, it's just as hard as any other job. Okay, and she, she just, she came into my life during a time that I was stressed and somehow became my refuge. Okay, but I was the only one who had to receive your daily humiliations. And you know who the only person that was there for me was? My daughter. Unlike you who just wanted to run off with that woman. No, 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 we, we can still fix this, okay? Just, just tell me what to do. There's nothing to fix. This past month, I've had time to think about things and I've, 
I found out that I really love working and I don't need a man who's gonna just humiliate me and betray me with the first woman that crosses his path. And I love my home and taking care of it and taking care of my daughter. And I want to keep on doing all that, just this time not with you. Please, please don't, don't say that. Okay, we have a daughter that needs me. You clearly weren't thinking about that last month when you only wanted to go run off with that woman. So, so you're going through with this? I am. I want a divorce as soon as possible. I understand. Just, just don't end up regretting the decision and crying about the worst decision that you're making. I think you need to tell that to yourself. I don't think you understand what kind of woman you just lost.